This is actually the first time I've done this, a little bit of an experiment. I took a piece of eighth inch plywood, and you, it's hard to find this that's flat. It's usually got a little bow to it. If it has some bow to it, you want the edges to bow up. So when you tape this down, it'll hold it flat to whatever it is you're trying to stencil. I'm using a scroll reverse blade. I actually prefer a blade that's a little bit worn out, not quite so sharp when I'm doing some of these close cuts. When you get into an area you're cutting like this, you have to be real careful you don't blow out that plywood. I usually come in and, and pick a, a straight area. I'll cut into that, go down to a corner, back out, turn around, and cut up to this and then proceed to go around until I get back to this point. I like to start and stop these cuts at a point. doing real thin sections like the spacers here on the S and the O, generally I'm cutting down the center of the line. But when I come along I start my cut on the inside here, I turn in, and then very carefully turn out, and I'm probably going to leave a little bit of the line. I don't want to push my luck on cutting that web out. And I stop the cut here, and I back out, turn around come back, cut along here, come to this corner. Then I like to turn away from sections like this, so I'm turning away. If I was coming around here and I could turn in, it would be real easy for that saw blade to break out that plywood. Come into this point, and I turn around, make the cut all the way around to here, and then very carefully cut into what was my previous cut at that point, then I'm done. I'm not really set up for shooting videos on the scroll saw, and it's very difficult when you're cutting these out to keep your hands out of the way so you're not blocking the camera. But you go to a website, do a search, and you go to a website that uh, allows you to make or design your own stencil. Play with the settings for your printer so you can scale this to whatever size you want. These are about three quarters of an inch high. It's about six and a half inches long. The hole that you drill, try to use as small a drill bit as you can and still feed your saw blade. The uh, drill bit will break up this plywood a little bit and when you come cutting along the edge of, in the vicinity of that hole, you can have a few problems. A hard spot in the plywood, void and just changing grain on the plywood itself can throw your blade off so just pay attention to it and again if your plywood is bent try to make it so the edges are high and then when you tape this down it should be okay apply the couple coats of lacquer sanding in between that will seal the wood I'm going to be using an enamel paint for the stencil and that will allow me to wipe these off with little mineral spirits clean them up a little bit when I get to use them the next time. The main thing is to seal this tight, basically airtight, 
So when I blow paint in here, it's not trying to blow underneath the edges. And I'm going to block this up at an angle so that my spray paint is hitting it almost perpendicular. And I'm just going to dust that. I don't want it to get wet in here. If it gets wet, then there's a good chance it'll run under the stencil. One other thing that came up with this when I removed this with the hot air gun, you could almost use this for a stencil in itself. And that might be a good way of cutting out a plastic stencil by using a plywood backer. Paint's still a little bit tacky. Take off these bits of tape and remove the stencil. Not perfect, but not too bad either. A little bit of misting went underneath there, probably because it wasn't down flat. A little bleed over here on the A, and there's a piece of plywood missing here. Same way with the R. And I had a spot that bled over on the W. And again, there's a little piece of the veneer that chipped out there. The V had a little piece missing and just a little bleed over there. Not too bad. Paint hasn't been dry too long. Not really necessary to do this. I was just curious to see how it would clean up. Cleans up pretty good. I don't know if I mentioned, but there was no paint bleed over on the bottom of the stencil at all. So the tape had it sealed fairly tight.